Fresh food supplies arrive in Dalari camp in northeast Nigeria. This one is out of a $5 million donation from the Chinese government. It's the first since donors pledged over $450 million to avert famine in the Lake Chad Basin. Worst hit is in northeast Nigeria, where close to 5 million are in dire need of emergency food assistance. But aid shortfall means only 1.3 million, categorized as extremely vulnerable, can access aid. One challenge for us, very painful process we are going through now, is to prioritize who gets the assistance. We have to make sure that those who are more vulnerable, the most vulnerable, continue to receive assistance. And therefore, we continue to target the most vulnerable among the communities that we, we require. Now, all this means is that if we want to stretch these resources to go further, we may have to uh, also cut rations for some of the food that we give. But not just that, seasonal rains are due to begin in weeks, and aid workers fear it could make aid delivery more complicated as most roads get unmotorable. Typically want to have uh, enough food uh, already pre-positioned in uh, Maiduguri and uh, in Yobe where we are having these operations, but so far we don't have uh, enough food pre-positioned. We are literally getting from truck to mouth. Uh, with no pre-positioned uh, stocks, and uh, that is a challenge uh, for us. WFP says it needs over $447 million to sustain its operations here in the Northeast for the next six months, but it has just been able to secure only 18% of that appeal. So far, it's managed to stretch by restricting aid to extremely vulnerable persons, and that's the real source of worry. Further cuts could put thousands of lives in jeopardy. Terrorist group Boko Haram fought hard to establish an Islamic caliphate here since 2009. The conflict left thousands dead and one of the worst humanitarian crises in Africa. The military have recorded success in beating them back, but their ability to launch attacks has cool. kept the Northeast insecure. Kelechia Mekalam, CGTN, Maiduguri, Nigeria.